Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, young and old, we're going back. And you're probably thinking, going back to where? Going, where are we going back to? Where have we come from for us to be going back to? We're going home to the Shires. Oh man, um, in the week since I finished the series, I felt empty. Honestly, I felt empty. I felt I've had nothing to look forward to doing because as I said, the first or the mainline series of the film is just one big film. So you're just looking forward to what's happening next and next and next. But thankfully, I have no idea how you guys did this and waited, what, 20 years for The Hobbit to come out? Or what, in a 20 year sunken place with just no Lord of the Rings, you know, cinematic content. But yeah, I couldn't have done the 20 years. I would have, I'd have been in the cinema crying watching The Hobbit if I'd had to wait 20 years. Buckle up, we're going on another adventure. In my new favorite world of Middle Earth, without further ado, roll tape. Was it the same director, Peter Jackson? Because he did a fantastic job with the mainline series. Did they um, hand over the keys to someone else? Did he come back to take off that mantle? To leave? Before we get started, people have commented telling me not to compare the two series. I'm not. I'm simply just excited to partake in another adventure that I'm guessing takes place in Middle Earth. Period. And while I can honestly say I have told you the truth, I may not have told you all of it. I am old now, Frodo. Was that him when he was younger? He kind of looked like Martin Freeman. For you to know what really happened. Okay, is this about... Oh, I like how the last film started with him finishing the book, and then now we're kind of getting a glimpse of how he started to write it. In a land far away to the east, East. The like of which you will not find in the world today. East as in Mordor East? Or was Mordor even Mordor at this time? Surely it would have been, yeah. Because, oh, look, I love this map. City of Dale. Dale. For this city lay before the doors of the greatest kingdom in Middle-earth. The elves? Eren. Stronghold of Thrall. King under the mountains. Mightiest of the dwarf lords. Finally! Oh my goodness, I've wanted to know about the dwarves more than anything in this series. And you're telling me this film has actual dwarves in it? Thank you, God. Ah, Frodo. Very warm. Built deep within the mountain itself. Look at the architecture. Goodness me. Its wealth lay in the earth. Right. The precious gems hewn from rock. The mines within the Misty Mountains, the architecture there, I get where that comes from now, even though that was more run down, but just you could see within the hollowed shapes and the areas they were moving through and the holes, how that that was kind of what they did, hollowed out mountains and turned them into fashioning objects. Into these. That's f***ing epic. What? And that is where they found it. What's this? The heart of the mountain. It looks like a galaxy. He took it as a sign, a sign that his right to rule was divine. All would pay homage to him, even the great elven king, Thranduil. Okay, Thranduil. The elves say the dwarves stole their treasure. The dwarves tell another tale. They okay. So was that, is that elven? I'm, I'm confused. What do you mean stole? If it was found in the mountains, surely it's free game. Or did it belong to elves prior? It is sad for a dwarf how old alliances can be broken. Hmm, we definitely know about that. What? Cough, cough, sorry, man. Slowly the days turned sour, and the watchful nights closed in. Did the elves attack them? No. Thor's love of gold had grown too fierce. <laughs> Look at his collection. This is the greed they talked about in the Bible. The mountain creaked and cracked in the hot, dry What's this? Wind. Was it the elves? No, the elves didn't attack them for over jewelry and gold. That's like so beneath them, isn't it? Come on, my God, do it now! What is it? Drag. What? Oh, oh shit! Smog. Oh shit! They got attacked by an actual dragon. Impenetrable skin. Set another prize. Did it come for the for the for the eye of the mountain? For dragons covered gold. Oh, the gold! Oh man! Fuck! 
How big is it? Is it bigger than the Balrog? I'll take that as a yes. It went inside? He's gonna drop it, isn't he? Get a va damn. For a dragon will guard his plunder as long as he lives. How long do dragons live? <laughs> oh, that's so cool. They ride deers, not horses. A moose. A deer, a moose? A moose? Oh. Against a dragon. Like, wh what do you want me to do? Against a fully grown dragon that breathes fire. Not a ring wraith, yeah. A dragon dragon. Different, oh, apples and oranges, guys. Rondrill would not risk the lives of his kin against the wrath of the dragon. Exactly, it's a dragon. But the fact that they were there seems a bit suspicious to me. Like, how did you know today was gonna be the day this? A once mighty people broke now. Is Gimli from Arable? Is this how they got displaced? Far away in another corner of the world. Home. Home. Party trick conjured Gandalf? by wizards on Midsummer's Eve. Gandalf? GD? Bilbo! In fact, my dear Frodo, is where I come in. Bilbo! Is that Bilbo? A young Bilbo? Okay, I thought Gandalf was going to be in this movie. In a hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. Hmm. Can I say, I'm really liking the fact that they have a narrator in this film. I don't know, it just adds the extra touch and it helps kind of steer the viewer a little. In that means. Good food, a warm hearth, and all the comforts of home. Wait, this is Bilbo, right? This isn't Frodo. I, I thought this was Frodo. Is that Frodo? No, that's Bilbo. You can see the house, the house is a bit older. That was a good transition, though. <laughs> oh, that is Bilbo. <clears throat> Thank you. Oh, look at Elijah. I'm happy he's doing good. Or was doing good even at this point in the... Some people are beginning to wonder about you, Uncle. Yeah. They think you're becoming odd. Unsociable. It's that ring in your pocket, bro. You think you'll come? Who? Gang. Okay, this was the day of the party yet, so the start of the other... Okay. I'm off. I'll have to wear. He's farthing woods. I'm going to surprise him. Oh, this is literally how the Lord of the Rings starts. Okay, that's re that was a really nice touch. I don't know who directed this, but that was a really nice touch to link it. I don't know if that's how it is in the books. That's how connected they are, but that was a re that was a really, really good, really, really good introduction. It is Martin Freeman. I did. I told you, it looked like him. Good morning. What do you mean? Do you mean to wish me a good morning, or do you mean that... I'm not going to say anything. Or are you simply stating that this is a morning to be good on? All of them at once, I suppose. I really like Martin Freeman. One of my favorite series, series is of all time, is Sherlock. And obviously, he was Watson in Sherlock, and I just really, really liked his role. He's gone on to do other stuff, and he's been in other films, but that was what, in particular, put him on the map for me. So that's like, I'm happy he, he, he made it to, to a Lord of the Rings film. Not Gandalf, the wandering wizard who made such excellent fireworks. Oh, two used to have them on Midsummer's Eve. So they weren't even on great terms, speaking terms. Well, that's decided. It will be very good for you. Most amusing for me. I shall inform the others. Others? Who? Oh, this is this. I thought Gandalf said I only gave him a, a push out. This is more than a push out to do. This is full on indoctrination. You, this is a recruitment. This is what they do when countries go to war and they need guys to join the army. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> saying good morning as a way of saying goodbye is hilarious. I'm gonna start doing that. What did he do to the door? He marked it. Did he have that jacket in the Lord of the Rings? The little blue one? Oh, I'm imagining that. Or was it red? I think it was red. Or maroon, maybe. The shy just gives cozy vibes, you know? Just, this is where you want to go to retire. Just, you know, it's just simple, simple living. <sighs> Sorry, that does not look appetizing. Where's the sauce? Bruh. Okay, yeah, a bit of lemon, yeah, lemon on fish. That's a, if you know, you know. Why? At your service. Fish who? 
<laughs> Do we know each other? No. And you just let him in your house. There's more. That will be the door. Since when did he have a doorbell? Am I late? Late for what? He's so out the loop. Visitors. I, I like visitors as much as the next hobbit. But I do like to know them before they come. Visiting. <laughs> he has a really like stocked out pantry slash cellar. There's a... In your head. <laughs> Gandalf was just setting the play. He's like, yeah, I'm here. Mr. Gandalf, may I tempt you with a cup of chamomile? Oh, that good. Nice chamomile, too. You appear to be one dwarf shot. What are you missing? Gandalf. Why know you? Bilbo Baggins, allow me to introduce the leader of our company, Solid Oakenship. Oh, that's the prince, isn't it? Ravens have been seen flying back to the mountain as it was foretold. Mm -hmm. So they're going back to Erebor. Have a wizard in our company. Gandalf will have killed hundreds of dragons in his time. Uh, there is no way into the mountain. That, my dear Marlin, is not entirely true. How do you just have a key? How can you buy this? Yeah. It was given to me by your father. For safekeeping. So that's just the front door to the mountain. These rooms speak of a hidden passage to the lower halls. There's another way. Okay, okay, that's what the key's for. The dwarf doors are invisible when closed. Oh yeah, like the open sesame door that wasn't open sesame. Oh, I'm liking the linking. It's all good. Okay, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. The task I have in mind will require a great deal of stealth. Mm -hmm. That's why we need a burger. Mm -hmm. Good one too. Mm. An expert, I'd imagine. And are you? Hmm? GD told them he was a burglar. He's accustomed to the smell of dwarf. The scent of a hobbit is all but unknown to him, which gives us a distinct advantage. <laughs> They're going to steal from a dragon. This is like Ocean's Eleven, but with the dragon. Yeah. I, I couldn't think of anything else. You must trust me in this. So was this Gandalf's job? Just to kind of stir up, not stir off trouble, but be the catalyst to all these events in Middle Earth. It's just the usual summary about pocket expenses, time required, remuneration. What? Oh, I cannot guarantee this. I'm happy he's reading it. Not a lot, too many people don't read the the fine print. Incineration. Oh, I am not the flesh off your bones in the blank of an eye. <laughs> oh. Think furnace. With wings. Uh, Bruh. Flash of light, searing pain, then mm -hmm. poof, you're nothing more than a cloud of ash. Thanks for the audio uh, description. He's gonna throw it. <laughs> Bilbo, Bilbo was funny. Bilbo was funny. I mean, he's always had that bit quirky, but my aunt Freeman really brings that out of him with just that you can't, you've, you can't be serious right now kind of comedy. Well, all good stories deserve a banishment. You'll have a tale or two to tell of your own when you come back. Mm-hmm. And so he did. And they've all gone without him, fair enough. They cleaned up as well. That was nice of them. Real nice of them. Oh, but well then he's gonna... It's gonna be too quiet for him, isn't it? Yeah. It's that feeling after you've had, like, guests you haven't seen in a long time or, like, family over. He's like, oh, it's just me again now. Could this be why, um, obviously I'm guessing when he came back, he, he got Frodo to live with him so he could have that, he got used to that, having someone else there with him. This is the jacket, yep. Welcome, Master Baggins, to the company of Thorin Oakenshield. Oakenshield, Thorin. Thorin has more cause than most. Orcs. What do the orcs do? King Thror tried to reclaim the ancient dwarf kingdom of Moria. Okay, I was I was gonna ask what happened to his dad. Our enemy had got there first. These are Sauron's goons, isn't it? He began by beheading the king. Damn. We were leaderless. Defeat and death are upon us. 
So I'm confused. The orcs, the orcs were their own people, their own race. But how did they end up? Okay, I'll, I'll ask the question afterwards. Never mind. We need nothing but an open branch as a shield. Did he kill him? He cut off his arm. Shit. The orcs here seem bigger than the ones in in the original series. Filth died of his wounds long ago. That doesn't. That's not a cosign. That filth is very much still alive. I beg your pardon. Wizard law, yes. Then there are the two blue wizards. And who is the fifth? Well, that would be Radagast, the Brown. He keeps a watchful eye over the vast forest lands to the east. So would Radagast, obviously I don't know what happens to him, but it's, wouldn't he have been involved with this stuff? I mean, like with the Ents and whatnot? I don't know, I feel like the Ents and from what Gandalf's described, their visions or their policies or whatever you want to call it, they align. So I wonder what happened to him, why he didn't play a role in the mainline series. He's got a similar affinity for nature, like Gandalf. Treebeard, I think he said all wizards are meant to kind of have an affinity for nature. So that's why he kind of reprimanded um, Saruman so much, because he's like, he's a wizard, he should know better. So. <laughs> oh, I didn't make it, damn. <laughs> what is that? Is that. Oh, okay, those are spiders. I could see from the shape or silhouette. Near the giant mountain in Mordor on their way, wasn't there were spiders there? So are they from there? Is that like a sign of is is this like a sign of Sauron? Was this when they started to get a glimpse of Sauron coming back? A farmer and his family used to live here. What do you mean used to? How did you know? We have a map that we cannot read. Lord Elrond could help us. Elrond. Get up, where are you going? Seek the company of the only one around here who's got any sense. But who's that? Myself, Mr. Bears. Gandalf does do that. He just kind of disappears off through the adventure, then comes back. Shields. The trolls. Aren't trolls meant to be quite big? Bro, leave the food. I just realized he went back for that. What are we bringing food for? Oh, shit. Oh, they ate the farmer. Shut your cat off. You look more pizza. Ballsy, Bill, well, ballsy. <laughs> oh, are these the trolls Bilbo was talking about? I remember. Oh, was it Frodo who mentioned them? Or I think Bilbo's told the story, and I, I think one of the guys, it might have been Sam um, or Took Marion, I can't remember. They mentioned the trolls or something, I can't remember. <laughs> Me. That is disgusting. Can we cook him? We oh, he's cooked. No pun intended. Oh, the gang came out. <laughs> they aren't doing much damage, to be fair. Like the arms, who will whip his off. Oh, damn. Let them move on. Or don't fancy being turned to stone. What's he gonna do? You're gonna need something stronger than sage before you play this or that. Mm. Oh, Is he trying to buy time to when the sun comes out? Oh, shut up. Let the uh, Flurgaburra Hobbit talk. <laughs> oh, the dawn will take you all. Who's that? No idea. Can we eat him too? <laughs> Okay, those are the ones they met on their journey. Yep, it's bringing, it's coming back to me. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, that's what the ones they saw. So this is, this should be near um, Rivendell because obviously on their way to Rivendell, they, I'm guessing these are the trolls they saw. This is where the mountain trolls venture this far south. Ooh, that's an age. Not since the darker power ruled these lands. Okay, they're hinting at it. 
Oh, he's an Elvis reference. You know what they made by the Smiths of Money Men? Isn't that. Well, that's the one he gives to Bill, yeah. Sting. What's coming? Oh, it's, um, I forgot his name. Radagast, that's it. The old fortress is abandoned. Okay, what did he see, Radagast? Such as I have never felt before. It is the shadow of an ancient horror. Oh shit. Oh shit. Are there, are there wolves out there? Wolves? No, that is not a wolf. Holy. What is that? Bruh. These are Gundaman wives. They will outrun you. These are Roscabel rabbits. To see them try. Oh, it's a showdown. Let's go. Oh, these were the hyena things I was talking about. Oh, shit. Oh, is he going to be okay? Oh, shit, shit. Fuck. Nah, that's way too close for comfort. Where are you leaving us? It's to the L's. We're going to Rivendell. I can feel it. Are they surrounded? Oh, shit. Good shot, good shot. Not Lego last level, but you're doing good, you're doing good. This way, you, fools. <laughs> you fools. He loves calling people fools. Clearly don't do anything reckless. Who are these, the elves? It sounds like their music. Gandalf, where are we? Good question. Yes. Uh, it feels like... Well, like magic. That's exactly what it is. Always speaking in riddles. How come Frodo could feel... Um, Bilbo could feel the magic? And these guys couldn't? Is he more like, I don't know, a hobbit's more in tune with it? It's Rivendell. It's gotta be Rivendell. Called it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. If we are to be successful, this will need to be handled with tact and respect and no small degree of charm, which is why you would need the talking. I was about to say, which none of these people have. <laughs> it's been ages. That's not even a week, but we haven't been here in ages. The fact that Bill will remember the way back and came here off his own, at, you know, at the start of the Lord of the Rings, just showed that he really feels safe here, you know? My Lord Elrond is not here. Oh, wow. So he's not going to be in the film. Damn. Where is he? Oh, was he with the party that went out? Or did Gandalf time that on purpose? Okay, then none of these are Elrond. I did not recognize any of you. Gandalf! That's that, that's that, you know what I'm saying, that's that. In the audience in here, nothing else, you know what I'm saying. No translation. What does he say? Does he offer a sense of that? No, Master Glond, he's offering you food. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, yeah, yeah. Ah, well, <laughs> lucky sweet on. Smart man, smart man. See, what if you were going to eat that and then he starts singing? Do you, like, not partake? Do you step out of the room? I don't... What's the logistics of the culture? I don't know. Erebor, what is your interest in this map? We're just passing through sightseeing, taking pictures. 
You still read ancient Dwarvish, do you not? Look what can't he read? He can see into the future for fuck's sake. <laughs> written on a midsummer's eve by the light of a crescent moon nearly 200 years ago. Oh shit. Fate is with you, Tharanovichi. Same Love. moon shines upon us tonight. Gandalf, I, I can smell, I can smell your cooking. You definitely put this together. The timing is too convenient. Way too convenient. There are some who not deemed wise. That dragon's in there. You are not the only guardian to stand watch over Middle Earth. Oh, what else is there? Oh, sorry, man. Oh, of course he's still alive. Excuse me. Yeah. He's huge. He doesn't look like an orc. I don't know. His anatomy is a bit different. He doesn't look like an orc. He's the only one who's CG because all the other times we'd have just orcs in general that weren't trolls. They've been actual actors. So I'm not too sure how. I'm, I know this is mocap. I'm not sure how much mocap they used for this. You can even see his wounds. He got a new arm. Looks terrible. Usual stuff for villains. He's called him. But how did he find out about their mission? Who did they tell? Someone must have betrayed them. Mm -hmm. That Rivendell music. So you can tell he's comfortable here. This is why he came back. Or oh, he's so fond of this place, rather. I've heard that it's unwise to seek the Council of Elves. But they will answer both yes and no. It's a joke. Come on, man. Hey, there it is. <laughs> it is not me you must answer to. Lady, what are you doing in this neck of the woods? What is going on? Salma, you've been busy of late, my friend. Oh, Christopher Lee, rest in peace, man. Did you think these plans and schemes of yours would go unnoticed? He was the one I mentioned. There's another person watching over Middle Earth. Yep. There is something at work beyond the evil of Smaug. He can sense it. Radagast has seen Radagast. Do not speak to me, Radagast. They did not like Radagast? Oh, shit. Which king of Anmark? Okay. Bear it with him. It's not possible. Well, it is. What proof do we have that this weapon came from Anmar's grave? I don't know if, if Saruman's just being hard-headed, or if he's already aware of Sauron's return and he's trying to play both sides, you know what I'm saying? Balin, you know this paths lead on. Aye. And Bilbo went with him. Hey, he's got to see it through. Mithrandi. Why the halfling? What did they call him Mithrando? Is that what wizards are called? Saruman believes that it is only a great power that can hold evil in check. He's gonna say it. I found it is the small things. Everyday deeds of ordinary folk. Um okay. Thor and Oakenshield, that's an insane name. That's as cool as it gets. Are they gonna cross the Misty Mountains? This is where Bill, um, the Fellowship went through, isn't it? Who's fighting? Oh, is that a Titan? What is that? What is that? So the Misty Mountain is a Titan. Oh, straight ahead, but damn, you didn't even let him get up. Boys, what are we doing? Don't play with me like this, man. I can't. I thought we lost our marker. He's been lost ever since he left home. Hey, look, you guys needed a burglar. He's, he's putting his own skin on the line. He could have just stayed home and then you guys would have had no burglar. Uh, not really. Didn't Gimli's cousins live in these mountains, so are we going to get to see them? Would, it, would this have been before the orcs came and overthrew them and the Balrog decided to make their house his house? <laughs> you must have another. You, you, you dwarves. 
You're used to, to, to this life, to living on the road, never settling in one place, not belonging anywhere. They used to belong somewhere. That was me. Oh, fuck. Oaks. What the hell? Oh, shit. I guess we're in the mines of Moria now. Who are these guys? They don't look they look like they don't look like they're with the other guy. Um the oh that's hunting him. Go on, Bilbo. Okay, so I'm guessing given these cousins had already been by then. So these are goblins. Yeah, they look like traditional goblins, smaller pointier ears. See what I mean by just it's just who's it's just who's the ugliest competition and they're just all in first place. Like look at his chins. If they will not talk, we'll... they just spoke. Oh, bring up the mangler. The mangler, the bone breaker. Was destroyed. So you think he's defiling things? <laughs> he's still defiling. Mm -hmm. Word to the pale orc. Tell him I have found his prize. I just remembered this would have been where he met okay and he got the ring. So this is all the ring, the ring. Oh, completely slipped my mind. Smeagol himself. Where's your sword? Where's Stink? And so it begins. I think you drag it all the way there, damn. What is it? My name is Bilbo Baggins. Oh, this is how we know his name. If Baggins loses, we need some help. <sighs> sure, why not? Fair enough. Sometimes in life you gotta just take a gamble. It's wind, of course it is. Andy Serkis is a really good actor. Really, really good actor. What he's done with Colin is insane. Yes, yes, all right. Come on, Bilbo. Come on, come on. Think on our feet. We gotta be quick. We gotta quick. We gotta be quick. Good. He's never gonna guess that. Come on. I won the game. You promised to show me the way out. You'd be so sorry, precious. You did. I'm pretty sure I remember you saying so. Oh, he was gonna use the ring. He was gonna use the ring to, yeah. Is he gonna think he's taking it? Oh, Andy, you are a genius. Come on, Bilbo, let's go, let's go, let's go. The golem's quite smart, to be fair. Really, really quick on the uptake. GD. This is why you wait for me on the mountain. Fool of a dwarf. Take up arms. Fight. Fight you fool. Fight. He's just him. Clean ass cut. Uh, yeah, that's why I recognize the sword for us. It was obviously Gandalf's sword. Oh, that brings up memories, then running through. Come on, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Oh, that's the exact same way. That's the exact same way it fell on Frodo's hand. Nice little callback. Oh, it's around. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> and it made the bridge as well. Gandalf's the funniest wizard because he's really in them dog fights. Like, he's, he doesn't just pull back and watch from a distance. He's there scrapping as well. 
How did you get here so quick? Look at the size of you. What are you gonna do now? He beat the Balrog. He, he, you're no match for him. That'll do it. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> you just had to ask. How? Okay, I'm not sure if Sauron's back here, but why couldn't he? Surely he should be able to see Bilbo right now. Am I picking that up wrong? Because why didn't he? We'll, we'll find out. He could have killed him. He killed him. This is what Gandalf was like, knowing when to, yep. Real strength comes from knowing when not to fight or when not to take life. And because they, because he didn't, technically they were, it, Frodo and them guys were able to find their way to Mount Doom. You can take the ring off now. You've worn it way too long. I mean, if you'd worn this back in our day, you know. Five, six, seven, eight. Bilbo, where's Bilbo? Where's Bilbo? Where is our hobbit? Master Baggin saw his chance and he took it. Oh, come on, Bilbo. Prove him wrong. Prove him wrong, Bilbo. No. He isn't. I've never been so glad to see anyone in my life. But he's can, he, he can use the ring to um to sneak past. <laughs> this is where he gets spooky. Oh, what does it matter? Yeah. GD's clock that he's Why did you come back? He signed a contract. Look, I know you doubt me. I know I know I know you always have. And you're right, I often think of back in. It's a nice place. That's fun. And that's why I came back. It's I'm gonna get you home back. You don't have one. Oh. Um, this series, man. How can you just not love the characters? Like, I just don't. It's impossible. Your haircut's fucking insane, but we'll go back to that. It's impossible. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> he got the text message. <laughs> Into fire. Let's go. Gandalf's run is iconic. I'm gonna get that as a ringtone. Where's Sting? Did he keep Sting? Did he lose it? No, he should still have Sting. Oh, go on, Bilbo. Right in the cranium. Ah, oh, shit. Dead end. Gandalf, you're a very good climber. What the f***? Put the ring on, 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 put the ring on. Get the giant moths, I don't know, the giant eagles, giant moths, I can't remember what. Oh, he's talking shit. Don't take the bait, don't take the bait. He's trash talking, do not take the bait. Damn. What's the play, GD? What is the play? What's the play? What's the play? What's the play? How did the... How did the ring not fall off through all of this? That is such an evil laugh. <laughs> What's he making? A Middle Earth Molotov? Holy shit, I didn't even know it was that deep. Has he got a tree thing again? Okay, it's time for part two. It's time for part two. Ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner, weighing in at... <laughs> okay, let's go. Sure, my money's on you. Is he gonna let you run the 1v1? No? That was stupid. He's on mount. Like, he's mounted. Uh, you're obviously at a disadvantage, so... Wait, has he kept that the whole time? As like a little shield thing? Don't tell me he dies. Come on, Bilbo. Come on, Bilbo. Go on, Bilbo. Fucking hell. Go on, Bilbo. Look at him. This is a shit ton more than Frodo ever did. No offense. His ops were a bit more developed. <laughs> yeah, the Eagles. Finally. Oh, man. I hope he makes it. 
Where are we flying to? Literally, I have no idea. Did the like an eagle nest, eagle village, or is he just gonna pick a safe spot and be like, "Hey, drop us off here, chief." You, what were you doing? You nearly got yourself killed. Why is he angry? You had no place amongst us. You just saved your life. You could at least say thank you. I've never been so wrong. No man. Oh, there we go. I mean, you could have just started with that. There's no need to. Can't we just get the eagles to carry us to i'm just saying if 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 they're free and flying that way anyways we could have just like hitch a ride and it's probably better for the environment we don't have to walk or tread on the i'm just saying to the great dwarf kingdoms of middle earth so there's no dwarf kingdoms anymore oh. that is still so far away them eagles could have taken you at least up to like the river do you know what i'm saying i don't believe He just had to say that. We are in for some grade A tier one bullshit the next two movies. You just had to say that, Bilbo. Why did he say that? What's waiting for us? That is awesome. Look at them like the in, embedded into the mountain itself. That is so cool. Don't tell me that's what woke him up. Don't tell me that's what woke the dragon up. Do not sit here and tell me this dragon's been asleep for the best part of six, seven decades, and this thrush just woke him up. You just had to say something, Bilbo. Oh, it's Peter Jackson. P PJ, nah, if PJ doesn't really work, does it? I'm just gonna call you Peter Jackson. Yeah, that does make sense. Cause I, look, I could feel a lot of the pacing was the same and a lot of the shot selections for action sequences were very much similar. You know, Lord of the Rings is the only um, series that has, not the only, but is a series that uses that kind of extended camera pan. They don't do, I mean, they did, they did a bit more cuts in this one, I'm guessing to compensate for the bits that were CGI. For majority of it, they would have these kind of like long drawn out sequences that kind of just kind of get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger all in one shot as the camera moves. And, I kind of got a grasp of that um, in this one. But yeah, really good film, The Hobbit. I'm really liking this. I'm just liking, I just like the tone and the breath and the and the, the conversations, the dialogue, the jokes. I just like being in Middle Earth in any capacity. So although it's not with the Fellowship, my brothers, like your last and the works, but the dwarves, just through Gimli, you, they're my brothers too. Second cousins, twice removed. Well, let's just call it, let's put it that. So following their story and kind of understanding, because I asked a lot in the original run, where were the doors, where was the doors? So I think this is perfect installment or series of films to answer that question. But yeah, really, really good so far. Um, Enjoyed that. This is going to be one video because I'm not splitting up into two anymore because I only did that because I know the extended edition has a lot of clips and added bits and I just didn't know which ones to leave and all leave out. So I split them into two movies so I could show you guys the most of everything I could and not just kind of hide that behind a full reaction on Patreon. But yeah, as always, full reactions are on Patreon. Really enjoying this series. Really, really, really happy that I have two, but now, well, three, now two more movies um, relating to the Lord of the Rings to, to kind of sink my teeth into. Um, as always, like, share, subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. Um, definitely do comment stuff down below, even if it's related to the old Lord of the Rings, just lore in general. I'll still pick that up. I still do, do go through the comments. So yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.